How do you feel about uh, the dinner party having a permanent home now in Brooklyn? Well, my goal when I first did the dinner party was that it would be permanently housed. It just took way longer than I thought it was going to. And of course I'm thrilled because now my work up with the dinner party is finally complete. And how do you see the, uh, the role of particularly the dinner party today compared to 30 years ago when it was originally done? Do you think it still has the same impact to its audience? Well, if you watch people go around the dinner party, it was exactly like the way they went around the dinner party when it first opened in 1979. And so the history obviously continues to be relevant and pertinent and will be until we live in a time in which both male and female history are taught equally. My abiding hope is that before I die, the dinner party will be seen as only one work in a large body of work that has continued to evolve and recently I've been working in glass and actually there's some connection between the dinner party and the glass work in that when I was studying China painting uh, a lot of the China painters all, also painted on glass and so I've been exploring ways of bringing that type of painting to bear on the uh, material of glass etched, fused, etched, cast and painted in fired glass and um, I'm looking forward to showing the work in Canada. Hi, this is Judy Chicago, and you're watching Kafka TV. Okay. All right.